I came here to play poker, guys. That's what you told me you were gonna be doing. That's why you wanted to use the house, right? That's why I let you use the house. Guys, this, that is not poker. A rich kid comes home to his parents' house for what he thinks is a night of poker, only to discover that his buddies have kidnapped the former mafia boss in that early scene from Suicide Kings. The boss is effectively played by Christopher Walken, who is almost always effective because there's just something about Christopher Walken. And he's told that one of the kid's sisters has been kidnapped. Their plan is to force him to use his mob connections to get the sister back. To help convince him, they cut off one of his fingers. To try to divide them, he tells them the kidnapping is probably an inside job. Oh, that's insane. <laughs> like, I don't know where you're getting information, Mr. Bear, but it's unreliable. The mobster assigns one of his top lieutenants to try to find the missing girl. He's played by Dennis Leary, and the dialogue in this scene owes a whole lot, maybe too much, to Quentin Tarantino's Pulp Fiction. I have three pairs of shoes. I got my white Nikes. I love the white Nikes. Okay, I've had those for, what, six, seven years, right? These are almost worn out. I got my Bruno Magnus. I can't wear those anymore because of the f***ing OJ thing, right? And so I go out and I buy these boots. Look at these. Nice, huh? nice f***ing boots. You know what those are? What? Stingray. The fish? Yeah, of course the fish. So you got fish boots. The mobster is taped to the chair and losing blood, but he's smarter than these kids and tries to think his way to freedom. Gentlemen, keep in mind that the cause you hold in your hands are nothing but dumb luck. The difference between winning and losing is being able to read your opponent. That's why I'm still here. A number of times, the only thing kept me out of a satin box was I could size up the other guy maybe half a second quicker than he could me. Hey, Suicide Kings was directed by Peter O'Fallon, who struggles to make the most of weak material, especially with some flashbacks that feel like Patty. Half the screenwriters in Los Angeles want to write movies where they and their friends flirt with the superficial charm of the underworld. It's like if you want to make a movie and you don't have a story or any insights about characters, plug into the gangster genre and borrow all the material you can. Absolutely true, Roger. I mean, Tarantino's film Pulp Fiction is one of the most influential pictures ever made, and unfortunately, the imitators aren't worthy of his legacy. They That's just, right. I mean, they just don't. They don't write as smart as he does, and we hear it here. Plus, we talked about overworked um, serial killer movies. How about overworked Inside job kidnapping pictures. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this well, is, inside job. Now, here, there is a clever idea here. Kidnap the mafia boss because with his connections, he can get right. your sister back. But you know what I'm But referring. the clever idea goes nowhere. It, 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 Walken is all alone. He's now, the Walken only isn't quite all alone because Dennis Leary has something, okay. too. Dennis uh, Leary yeah. is an up and coming actor. Uh, yeah, He's got uh, stuff. I stand corrected, yes.